Hey, what's up everybody? This is Damron playing Splinter Cell Blacklist. This is part 5 of my perfectionist no-kill option engaged playthrough, which brings us to Private Estate. This mission isn't too bad. We're going to jump right into it. Again, we are on perfectionist difficulty, and we're trying to do the achievement to not kill anyone as Sam Fisher. I know this is an older game, um, as I mentioned in some uh, prior videos, but I felt like a lot of the old you know, kind of guides on YouTube were very dark, had some old outdated methods. Credit to where credit is due. Maka has a great guide up that he's had out for a long time, and I did use some of his strategies in some of the areas. But I do have some updated strategies again, brightened up the gameplay so you can really see what's going on. Also, um, I do have a complete collectible guide up for this game. We're not going to be grabbing the collectibles in this playthrough. If you're trying to grab all the collectibles, feel free to check that out. We're also going to be skipping this cutscenes. We're just trying to get through these missions as quickly as possible on the most difficult setting. Um, and also we're not going to be talking about my build. I covered that in the prologue, but basically you want to have a high stealth um, loadout with all of your stealth equipment and the sleeping gas crossbow is critical. So let's jump right in. As soon as this mission starts again, we're going to go to the right. Make sure those guys have turned around in the garage before you go into the garage. And then when you get to this courtyard area, there's a dog there. Go ahead and throw a noise maker and that will actually keep everybody distracted long enough for you to go around the right side of the front of the house make our way around here using cover to cover as I've mentioned before cover to cover is important because if you're just running you are actually more likely to get spotted than if you cover to cover nonetheless when you go to the right side of the house there's gonna be a pipe you can climb take that pipe to go over this wall here and drop down SMI is right. Heading there. Best route's at the back window. Unlocking that for you now. You are go. All right, once you get to this portion, um, there are a decent amount of enemies, and if you get spotted, there will be a lot more enemies. Um, but just follow the path that I take, and you should have no problem. We're going to shimmy up this pipe here and use it to go to the right. It's going to keep us out of the vision um, of all the enemies below us. So we're going to go ahead and use this to kind of get to the other side of this wall that you're seeing below me. Often there will be a guy right here. Um, just take him out and... There, I almost got spotted here actually. There's a guy here. He may not be right there, but these two guys are patrolling this pool area. Go ahead and sleep gap gas those guys. Now, if you take those three guys out, you're pretty much golden um, in this entire area to get to the next portion of the level, which is to shut down the power. There's one guy down here um, and a dog. So be very, very careful with the dog. It can be in this courtyard. If he is there, just sleep gas the dog. But if he's back there digging, um, really all you need to do is go up to this door. It's okay if he barks because as soon as you activate the door and walk in um, and press A, you're going to trigger the next cutscene and it's going to kind of reset that whole area. Um, so you don't really need to worry about the dog too much. But if you're having trouble getting into that room without the dog kind of spotting you so to speak okay, feel free to use some sleeping gas on the dog and go into this tri-rotor section which we'll do pretty quickly here you have to go up Okay, Sam, you're coming up on the breaker box. Prime. Here we go. Bam! Party started. We've got 
Alright, so as soon as you EMP that, this outdoor courtyard area is going to be full with a lot more enemies. And now we have to actually get into the estate. I'm going to show you a very easy way to do that. So this guy might be running around a little hectic here, but just wait till he's no longer looking at you. Go up the stairs, and as soon as we go up the second stairs, immediately jump on this pipe here. And you're actually past this entire section, because you're going to go to the right and go down, and you're going to be over over this wall and we can go into the estate through this glass sliding door right here so we can skip all of those enemies which is great as soon as we walk into the estate immediately on the first pillar don't jump over the uh, counter and break glass like I did um, but jump up this first pillar so you can kind of shimmy along the ledge of the second floor and these are the two guys that we need to keep an eye on here when their backs are turned go ahead and go into this room and now we're going to jump up on this wall up to the third floor and now at the third floor we are going to jump up to the next level and when the guy on the left is not looking and go right down this hall and if you look at all those red things on the mini map we have got past all of them in a very very easy path now this is the room you need to go in there generally is a guy in here um, pretty much just like to take him out just by hanging on this wall and then as soon as he gets close go ahead and stealth take down him and we're pretty much on to the next section of the level. Just go into the bathroom and trigger the breach. Follow me. And so after the cutscene, you'll have to follow Nuri, and we're going to be inside the building. This is pretty awesome here. Jump over this wall. We're going to throw a proximity shocker right below us on the ground right here. Because three guys are going to insert right there and two guys right here. So you're over the edge, they won't see you. Sleep gas that guy, and then sleep gas that guy, and then three guys below us are gonna run in where our proximity shocker is, and boom, you're gonna take them out. I see them. Boom. Um, there is four, and your proximity shocker can actually take out all four, sometimes if uh, you get a little lucky. But nonetheless, that strategy right there is gonna make that part extraordinarily easily and, and all you got to do is basically sleep get this last guy We're here clear. Um, and then you're gonna clear it out so then you have Where's to go through this Mary? door here We're close. We're almost at the entrance Grim we're approaching escape tunnel give me options Option. The river's your only one. I, I could get a gun from the weapons cache ahead. No. If I get shot, it won't be in the back. You want out of here, then start talking about Sadiq. It's a simple arrangement. He gives me cash, and I send him soldiers. Now, what are the soldiers for? For none of my business. How you treat the people you're trying to protect? Stay quiet. It'll be easier for both of us. Now be sure on that part you said I had to switch to the sleeping gas. Um, after the cutscene where you're holding Yuri, it often puts a pistol into your hand. So be sure that you go ahead and switch out to non-lethal in this next section, which is very easy. There's only three guys we have to worry about. Um, so just sleep cast the guys. We're actually at the end of the level. Um, it's really easy. Just sleep cast the guys we come across and as we make our way to the dock. Now, if you get spotted, um, a lot more enemies will come, but it's pretty easy just to sleep cast these three guys and make your way um, to the waypoint. So that's actually gonna wrap it up for this level, the private estate. I hope you guys are enjoying the guide. Again, I know it's an older game, but I thought, you know, I was playing it and I was like, man, all the gameplay is so dark. I can't see anything. And some of the strategies, I felt like I came with better ways to get through a little things quicker on the hardest difficulty. So, you know, I just threw it together. Um, those of you that are following it and, you know, using it, or I hope you're finding it helpful. Um, as always, I appreciate all the support I've gotten. If you guys like my stuff, feel free to like and subscribe. Hopefully we'll see you in part six of Splinter Cell Blacklist Perfectionist No Kill Option Engaged.